Hi students, myself Narendra Akarman. I will teach you subject physics in sixth standard. Now I am going to teach you lesson number three, force. And our topic is force of friction. Students, what is the definition of force of friction? The force which slow down the motion of the moving body in contact with the other body is called force of friction. For example, when we stop the pedaling of bicycle, bicycle covers the certain distance and it slow downs because there is a force of friction between two surfaces the surface of road and the surface of tires these two surfaces exert force of friction that's why the bicycle slow down after covering the certain distance another example when we roll the ball on the plain ground so it covers the certain distance and the ball slow down because there is a force of friction between two surfaces, the surface of ball and the surface of ground. And these two surfaces come in contact and the force of friction exerts between two surfaces and the ball slow down after covering the certain distance. So we can say that students, while pushing the heavy box, the force of friction opposes the motion and it's quite difficult for us to push the heavy box. Force of friction opposes the relative motion between two surfaces in contact with each other. Students, our next topic is Disadvantages of Force of Friction. So generally there are four disadvantages of force of friction given in our book. So first disadvantage is force of friction opposes the motion. Students, force of friction always oppose the motion of the moving body. For example, if we are pushing the heavy box, so the force of friction between two surfaces, the surface of box and the surface of ground, this force of friction always oppose the motion of the box. More example, when we roll a ball on the ground, so there is a force of friction between the surface of ball and the surface of ground. When these two surfaces come in contact, there exists a force of friction between these two surfaces and the force of friction which opposes the motion of the ball and the ball stops after some time. Another disadvantage of force of friction is force of friction always acts in a direction opposite to the direction of motion. The students, suppose we are pushing a heavy box in the right direction so the force of friction between two surfaces, surface of box and surface of ground, this force of friction always acts in the left direction which oppose the motion of the body. And suppose we are pushing the heavy box in left direction, so the force of friction between the two surfaces, surface of box and the surface of ground, this force of friction acts in the right direction which oppose the motion of the object. Students, another disadvantage is force of friction produces heat. Students, we know that when we rub the two palms of our hand, when these two surfaces of palms in come in contact and we rub it, so there is a force of friction between two surfaces and which produces the heat. 
or our palms get warm similarly students moving parts of the machines continuously come in contact they get heated students in ancient time people produce fire when two stones rub each other students the match stick when we rub it on the rough surface of match box so match sticks get fire because we can say that force of friction produces heat when two surfaces come in contact when the two surfaces are rub another disadvantage is force of friction causes wear and tear students in our daily life we have observed that the tires of bicycle rickshaw cars they get wear out or we can say they are no longer usable means they get damaged due to continuously used of the tires because there is a force of friction between the surface of tires and the surface of road due to this force of friction between two surfaces so we can say that tires of car bicycle and rickshaw they are wear out or we can say they are damaged when we continuously used them so we can say that force of friction causes wear and tear students another topic is factors affecting the force of friction so generally there are three factors given which affects the force of friction first the smoothness of the surface students the force of friction is always greater between the two rough surfaces we can say the surface of tires and the surface of road between these two surfaces there is a more force of friction because these two surfaces are rough but the force of friction is always less between two smooth surfaces for example the force of friction between two ice surfaces is very less students another factors affecting the force of friction the presence of solid liquid or gas around the moving body students the solid liquid or gas exerts the force of friction on the moving body the force of friction between solid and solid surface is more the force of friction between the solid or liquid surface is less still the force of friction between the solid or gas surface is much less for example when we are pushing a box on the ground so there is a force of friction between these two surfaces is more a board which is traveling in water so water surface exerts force of friction on the moving board is less still the aeroplane moving in air so air surface exerts less force of friction on the aeroplane another factors affecting the force of friction is the weight of the moving body on the surface students more the weight of the object so there is a more force of friction by the another surface on the moving body students our next topic is kinds of friction so generally there are three kinds of frictions first 
static friction, sliding friction, and third rolling friction. So students, firstly we will see static frictions. Students, when we push the object, students, when we push the heavy object and it does not move, we can say that there is a more force of friction between the surface of object and the surface of ground. So students, when we apply the more force to overcome the force of friction, then the object starts to move. So here, what is the meaning of static friction? So let's see. Static friction, the maximum opposing force between the object and the surface in contact with it. So long the object remains stationary even applying the external force is called static friction. So second, sliding friction. When the body begins to slide, the force exerted by the surface on the object is called the sliding friction. And the last, rolling friction. When the object rolls on the surface, the force which opposes the rolling motion of the object is called rolling friction. So students, here we can say that static friction is greater than sliding friction and sliding friction is greater than rolling friction. So I hope you understood these concepts that I taught you in the class. Thank you students.